Eyes to eyes, heart to heart. My whole body is turned to you, I'm looking right at you, and we're making a connection right here. And do you feel that? Yeah. yeah. And so if I turn to you, and I'm making this connection with you, do you feel that? And now, help me. You've told me your name 32 times. Yeah, you. <laughs> Anne Marie. I know, I remembered Springer, but I was trying to remember. All right, Anne Marie. So I'm looking right at you, and even though I'm kind of playing around because your name is not on the tip of my tongue, still there's a connection, right? So that's what we do when we speak. We still connect with our audience one person at a time. Now, what typical speakers do is come up in front of a room and do this kind of stuff. Because I know I'm supposed to connect with people, and so I want to look at everybody. Is anybody feeling connected to me? No. No, it's kind of creepy, isn't it? <laughs> so one person at a time, that's how we connect. Now what that means is over the course of a talk, I will have had these little moments of connection with each one of you. And every one of you will feel that. Unless you've already decided you just don't like me and you're I mean, that happens in an audience. There will be people who are, they don't like your message, they don't like your hairstyle, they, they don't like that you used to work at a station they hate. Not that that's ever happened to me. <laughs> it happens that there's somebody that you can't connect with, but it's actually rare. I would say 97% of the time, I walk out of a room and know that I have a connection with everybody in that room. And a lot of them will tell me so. And if they didn't tell me so, I can see it and I can feel it.